Hey guys, Karibu Internet, yet another fantastic episode here at Canvas Kitchen. Things are now changing, the weather is now cooling down and that means we are now getting into the habit of drinking more soups. And as you guys know by now, we make the best soups here at Canvas Kitchen. For today, we're going to make a soup that has red pepper as the star ingredient. It's going to be warm, the flavors are going to be very, very comforting and you're going to really enjoy this one. To my returning subscribers, Asante Nisana for being here. I really love Love you guys and to my new watchers i know a hundred percent after this video i'm going to earn your subscription that said let's begin karibu nisana Every other ingredient for this recipe has already been prepared and is on the other side of my kitchen now I wanted to get into the star of this soup and that is my red pepper. When I say red pepper, for my Kenyans especially, I simply mean a red ho-ho. They are quite readily available and they are so versatile. The green ho-ho is the one that is most common in this country. However, the red one is also just as brilliant of an ingredient. And in contrast to the green ho-ho, the red ho-ho has an inherent soft sweetness to it. A green ho-ho it's very perfect for savory dishes because it, it's quite tart but as a red ho ho has an inherent sweetness which makes it perfect for soups and once it's smoked it's also very very delicious so for this one we're just going to slice it in half and then remove the seeds excellent now that this is done we're going to go right ahead to the next step and the next step is simply roasting our peppers by roasting you only need your stove to and an open flame why do we roast our peppers we roast the pepper so that we develop the inherent sweetness of the peppers and because the peppers will also get a nice char on them that smokiness will also add into the flavor of our soup or whichever dish you're making and that is always a plus so you need your tongs so you're going to take your pepper and just place it over your open flame both of them just like that then the second one and then just be turning them from time to time until you get a nice charm don't be like scared once like it, it should actually be very black at the skin but you're going to deal with that a bit later so just give it time it will take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the size of your pepper and the size of your flame as well but at the end of this you're going to have excellent flavor which you're really going to savor Ah, this has turned out exactly as I wanted it to and as you do this at home as well make sure you get this nice black char over the top of your red bell pepper and that's how you'll know you're on the right track don't be intimidated just keep your eyes peeled work your tongues and you'll be fine now that mine are done we're going to just take our peppers off the heat this one first put it on a tray then this one good turn of the heat and now that we are done with that the next step just involves sweating our peppers why do we sweat our peppers we sweat the peppers so that we allow the peeling of the char to be quite easy and also just to concentrate the the flavor of the pepper themselves so how do we sweat our peppers just take your hot roasted bell peppers and place them into a reusable plastic bag seal it and let them sit on your countertop and be stopped for about 10 to 15 minutes with our roasted red peppers now sweating oh nime bang we're now going to start composing our soup as you can see on my motor now i have my sufuria and in it already there's some oil and some salt so the first ingredients that are going to go in are some onion chives, some leeks, and some sage. I love the flavor of leek and especially paired with that of onion chives, they really go so well together. They are both in the onion family. You can use any kind of onion but I highly recommend that for this recipe, you go for leek and onion chives. I'm using fresh, 
fresh sage however you can use dried sage but in lesser quantity because when it's dried it's a lot more concentrated and it can be overwhelmingly strong but i will list the ingredient the quantity you're going to need if you're using dried sage that said we're going to add in our onion chives the leeks and then our sage This is so beautifully fragrant and I know this is going to be another bomb ass soup and you guys are really going to enjoy this one. So as that is going, we're going to add two of the two of the three main body ingredients and that is my carrots and some apple. Carrots really add a nice kick uh, to any soup you cook it with and the apple because it's sweet it will also complement the sweetness of the red of the roasted red pepper just make sure you use a red apple for this recipe because a red apple is usually sweet if you use a green apple the tart notes will throw off everything so make sure you go for a red apple the carrots especially paired with the roasted red pepper you have a lot of bitter carotene lots of vitamin a lots of vitamin c plenty of antioxidants this is a soup that is not only warming but also amazing for your body that said we're going to add in our carrots followed by our apple and then give it a rough mix in your uzuria soups, you don't have to chop everything so perfectly because at the end of it, you're going to blend everything. However, I feel like chopping them small allows you to have a less cook time. And anyone doesn't, I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing for long. So if you can reduce the amount of time you're going to spend cooking, do so. So next, we're going to go in with the ingredients that will add a bit of flavor. That's my spices. And for that, I chose to go with some clove cinnamon and a bit of cumin clove and cinnamon are warm spices and they are also quite delicious for any soup cinnamon is a sweet warm one and it also complements the sweetness of the apple and the roasted red red bell pepper and the cumin will tie everything together and add a tiny bit of complexity because it's a warm savory spice to allow and facilitate the cooking down of the carrots in particular we're going to go in with some milk. This is just regular kawaida milk, um, whole milk. So we're going to add it in and then allow the carrots to cook down and then also add in the spices. The spices are now in and everything is coming together beautifully. This is now the most awkward phase of making any soup because it does look like the queen of mashakuras. But it's fine, it's fine. It will all come together beautifully at the end of this and I know it's going to taste fantastic. Now that this is cooking down, especially the carrots, we are going back and remember we, we let our roasted red peppers sweat as that was going. So we are coming back to this. Now that it has sweated, is that a word? I don't know. Now that it has sweat, sweated, whatever, we're going to take them out of our bag. Pole pole two one by one. And they're really, really soft in texture as you're going to see once you try this out. And then we're going to peel off the black layer. It will come off very, very easily. But don't peel off all of it. Just leave a bit of the char on the pepper because we want to still taste a bit of the smokiness in our soup. And now with the char adequately removed, we're not going to go ahead and chop it up. Just don't obsess about making it perfect. And I think I'm lecturing myself as I say this. Leave some char on it so that you can get a bit of flavor of smokiness in the soup that we're about to compose. So now we're just going to chop this up. And then after we are done chopping, we're going to add it into our sufuria and allow it to combine with the rest of the ingredients and also for the smoky flavor to seep into the other ingredients already in our sufuria. Then thereafter, after the carrots have completely softened, we're now going to transfer that into a blender, blend it all up and then we'll be ready to serve and plate. That was really simple.
Corrida, the most delicious soups in the whole world are made right here at Kanuhi's Kitchen. And as we have concluded making this roasted pepper soup, you can see this is beautiful and I know it tastes just as amazing. I did not intend to have a topping for this, but as the soup was simmering, I decided to add one and the exact quantities I used for that are listed on the blog along with the exact ingredients I used for this soup. But before we get into that, let's, let's give this a taste test. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think this is now among my top three most favorite soups in the whole world. You can taste the smokiness of the roasted pepper. You can taste the warmth of the clove, the cinnamon that is in the soup and also in the apple topping really ties everything together and the mild texture it adds to this rich soup as you eat is so unforgettable. Guys, you have to try this out. I'm so excited about sharing this recipe with you guys because I know 100% you're going to really enjoy this one. As I have just mentioned, the exact recipe to the soup and to the topping is listed on the blog link on the description box try this out enjoy it during rainy april and cozy up to the best soups in the whole world i hope you love this video and i'm excited about seeing you in my next one as well bye guys